Pichu coming out against Cloud. And I think Pichu and Pikachu actually have a very good matchup against Cloud, especially when they're able to go ahead and get them off stage. I personally they can just go ahead and harass them, but the only difficult part is here on stage, Cloud having such a range with that sword, even though he is a little toned down, I feel he is still basically the same exact character, yeah. just, a, just a little less dumb. For sure. And Pichu, I mean, coming back as a completely different beast than his... Uh, melee counterpart in this game. He's an absolute threat. Personally, I think he is top one material. I mean, just off my limited knowledge of the game so far, you know, in one month, but my experience, this character is crazy. Yeah, it's got no, combos, Boyd has edge definitely guards, been able to make some things happen the frame with data, the character. Everything. Yeah, but Tyrant, you know, trying to get himself into this game. Very even percent at the moment. Yeah, and just keeping in mind also that Pichu does do percent to himself when he uses all of these electric together. So you can see he's using the neutral B. It does have high damage output as do most of his moves in general or extreme kill potential, which make him good. He's also the lightest character in the game, so racking up that damage with electric attacks could end up meaning the end of his stock as well. I get recovery from Tyrant, getting back to the stage. Gotta come up with that down air as well. In the back air, such a strong kill move for Pichu. And as I say it, another one online. Yosher taking that first stock away. Yeah, only 91% on himself. I mean, 91%, that's definitely kill percentage for... He was a kill percent like 30% <laughs> ago. What you talking about? Yeah, absolutely. All right, shooting that back air. Able to go ahead and get that grab. Tyrant in a dangerous position, barely getting away from that forwarder. Trying to go for a forward smash himself, but getting clipped out by the back air one more time. Yeah, and really, this is the problem with Pichu uh, when you're fighting one, just because it's such a small, fast character. Yes, the character is very light, but it's so hard to go in and try to catch him. I mean, you know, people talk about Inkling's dash and how it low profiles. There's great back air coming out from Tyrant. <coughs> Take Clean up that stock with only 65% on him, not too far behind. He could definitely bring this back, especially if he can land these, like, cross slashes in neutral, but it's looking tough because of how small Pichu is in yeah. two. I, I like the use of the limit there. You can't keep limit forever as you could in a previous game now. So it promotes that, that aggressive play style. Yeah, it's about 15 seconds yeah. if I am not mistaken. So really, we saw in the last iteration that people were talking about Mitsu King using his limit a little too fast. Yo, he saw the future. He knew that, you know, I'm not gonna be able to hold on to this in the next game. Yeah, he got that practice in for sure. All right, he has to beat you off stage. Inside Trying to take advantage Woo! of the up B and great F to Flip out that stock. Yeah, unfortunately. And that is something that players need to start doing against Pichu. Because Pichu, unlike Pikachu, does not have a hitbox when he's recovering with the For quick sure. attack. Oh, great. With the limit cross slash, got him on the way up and down. Yeah, Tyrant just adapting to Yoshi's playstyle after that first stock. Uh, it looked like he got off to a, a rocky start, but doing quite well here in the last couple of yeah, Another cross slash, get that damage in. All right. Tyrant a little bit off the mark on that back air. Missed out on a lot of pressure, and now Yosher back on stage. Neutral air tech chase. Chasing with these up airs, trying to keep Yosher in a potential juggle, but he makes it back to the stage. Yeah, Yosher is playing quite, you know, conservative at the moment, understanding one good hit will take away the stuff. Oh, and he already man. sees that Tyrant is tossing in a lot more neutral airs, tossing in a lot more fares yeah. in the neutral, really <laughs> just keeping him out. And as I say fair, yep. another one gonna connect and take it away. And yeah, I mean, you were talking about Yosher playing conservative, and I think that kinda ends up being the downfall in a lot of ways if you're playing this character. You're gonna wanna learn to just Use, abuse your frame data and just hit confirm every single time into tons of damage. Because if you if you give that opening, he, he was dead. I mean, Cloud could have sneezed on him and he would have <laughs> died. Well, the very surprising thing that Yosher ended up getting away from was he stopped using the Thunder Shock yeah. and the Thunder Jolts. Mm -hmm. it, it, that is an integral part of Pichu and Pichu's Absolutely. neutral. And when you allow Cloud to just have free space, but this is exactly what's going to happen. Tyrant felt very comfortable, tossed out his aerials, and, you know, he was finally able to get in, keep out the Pichu, and get that stock. I'd love to see Yosha keep up with those Thunder Jolts, try to make sure he can have his say in the neutral as well, rather than just allowing Tyrant to dictate it. Potentially, I mean, we did start to see the more conservative play as well. Potentially, he was thinking, 
if I'm using Thunder Jolt, I'm adding more percent. But at yeah. that point, like, you're already I mean, already you're already standing at yeah, over exactly. 100. You so, like, know one hit will do it for you. And then, and that's why I feel like, as this character, you should almost shouldn't even be caring about the damage that you're doing to yourself. And, we, and I, we've seen that from Void time and time again in, in the very early infancy of this game. When he's standing at over 100, he's still going for those Thunder Jolts. He's still going for a lot of the moves that end up hurting himself. And there we have a stock forward smash. Absolutely. Getting that high recovery from Tyrant. And see that like it works because he he's at a low percent and Yoshers knows that he can threaten with all these options. Uh, just throw out multiple moves yep. one after there another. There we go. No, Tyrant oh, understanding. No. There is no hitbox there, and I can just toss out these blade beams, get the damage, and just interrupt your recovery. All right, so we're down to an even stock situation. Going to be careful with that there. side B. That side B is really good if they block it. It has a lot of uh, bounce back. So it's pretty safe on shield, but if you whiff, uh, you're, you're in a Ooh, lot of We got the drag down, but Yoshi oh. unable to go ahead and get the follow-up on there. Nice, very quick up air, able to combo break between the hits of the Climb Hazard. Yeah, but the only unfortunate thing about the Climb Hazard at these low percents is not a lot of knockback, and Yoshi is actually able to go ahead and punish Tyrant for using that option. Good neutral air interrupting the jump from Tyrant. Still keeping up this pressure. Yet another neutral air leading into these forward smashes, but a jab out from Garden sending him right back off stage. All right, just be careful what's going to be mixed up on the recovery. Yep, sends up going high. And Tyrant trying to retreat to this ledge, finally does. And Tyrant has done that throughout the set quite a bit. He's actually off on the recovery with that climb hazard when he's going down. He's not getting that ledge. He's landing on the stage. Yeah. And that's how he ended up losing that first stock. That's something we have to look forward to if Yoshi is going to continue to punish it. Uh, I like the attempt. Down the smash. Yeah, there we go. The classic. Well. Uh, this last limit, I, I, I like that um, Tyrant is threatening with the limit blade beam. I mean, if, he, if Yoshi is using those thunder jolts, that blade beam uh, is just going to go right through it. There goes the down throw. That F tilt, such an incredible move for Pichu. It comes out so quick, hits at the tip of the toes, it kills. That's some fa fantastic coverage right there from Yosha, just running back and forth, really just trying to catch this landing of Tyrant. Tyrant finally able to go ahead and grab onto that ledge. I thought that Yosha was going to toss out a forward smash, hoping for a trade. Ooh, Tech Chase trying to get that little toe, not going to find the mark though. Dash right, attack, wow, attack, actually still able to take it. 85% on Yosher. Starting to revert to this more conservative gameplay, but at least he's using the Thunder Jolt. I think he's realized, you know, I'm going to take this damage anyways. I'm already at kill percent. Yeah, I mean, he, at the same time, he just understands what happened in that game one. You allow Tyrant and Cloud to just control that space with the big, long-lasting aerials that he has. It's going to be very difficult for Yosher or any character to go ahead and get in on the character. All right, another dash go. attack. Oh my god, double dash attack. I like it. You get any percent is good percent at the moment, Yeah, man. absolutely. And I mean, we can thank, uh, tribute this to the Thunder Jolts again because he's, by forcing Tyrant to maneuver around them, he's creating openings oh for goodness. himself to actually get these hits. A dash attack oh, yes. is going to do it. A 2 0 out from Tyrant. Moving on through the bracket. Absolutely. Yeah, no, this is a very nice set. I saw the adaptation coming up from Yosher in that second game, as, as we were talking about. He's a little more Thunder Jolt, getting a little more aggressive, but Tyrant, so calm and collected, keeping up with his own game plan. Get the spacing, use that forward air, use that neutral air, and you know, keep out his opponent and let the stocks really just come to him. Yeah.